a hundred armed noblemen, Honoré? If it weren't for General Enough. Lafayette... Enough! The room is fogged with your bluster! All hot air and no action! Here's a man with good news, I think. Arno, what did you learn from the silversmith? Poison. They're catching up. Germain made that pin, and others like it, for a man named Lafreniere. Sure. Certain. Grandmaster de la Serre spoke highly of his loyalty. Very well. I suppose the course is clear, Arno. Find Monsieur Lafreniere. I have done so already, Monsieur. He is no threat. What are you saying, Pispa? I had a lead on Lafreniere. I followed it, and I killed him. I'm what the hell are you thinking? How dare you defy the truth? Next time you shut in the council, I'll you rip you a new arsehole! While this council admires your zeal, it is not your place to choose your own targets. You should have reported your findings to us. Forgive me, mentor. I believed I had found the man who ordered Monsieur de la Serre's murder. When I discovered further evidence that suggested he was about to strike at the Brotherhood in force, I took action. Believed? Suggested? I am no longer certain of Lafreniere's motivations. In his memories, I saw him writing the letter that would have warned Monsieur de la Serre of his betrayal. When he spoke of his impending attack, he mentioned a club in the Marais, not one of our safe houses. What do you make of this? I cannot say. I would like to investigate further. I don't like this. The boy is a gifted assassin, but I fear he's obsessed with a private vendetta. Let another follow this lead. We don't have time. Whatever Lafreniere was planning, it happens tonight. He did ask permission this time, Guillaume. Ah. Uh. Go then, see what you can learn. But no more rash action. Hm? Yes, Mentor. This is the place. What was Lafreniere so interested in? Get him upstairs, quickly. Latouche, old friend. You do get about, don't you?
Something. Smart, you let it lie. What's that supposed to mean? It was a crime worthy of death under Tiberius to praise Brutus. Caligula condemned to death those who were so sacrilegious as to undress before the image of the emperor. Once tyranny invented the cry of injured majesty, which were actions either indifferent or heroic, who could have dared to forgive? that it merited a punishment more gentle than death without rendering himself guilty of the same crime. When the fanaticism... Necessary, say the partisans of ancient and barbarous routine. Without it, there is no great strong enough for trans talking, and they never shot up to Have you calculated all the gears by which penal laws can act on human sensibility? Alas, before death, how much physical and moral pain can man Must be hereabouts, but where?
under Tiberius, praise Brutus. Caligula condemned to death those who were so sacrilegious as to undress before the image. Once, Tyranny invented the cover of injured majesty, which were actions either indifferent or heroic. How much longer must we wait? I do have other business to tend to. Just a little bit longer. The Grand Master wants the political send out before we begin. I trust we'll finally learn the meaning behind our recent activities. All will be made clear. I don't like it. The plan is still too vulnerable. And let's not forget, Lafreniere is still out there somewhere, waiting to burn us all at the stake. So, you haven't heard yet, then? Heard what? Well, Lafreniere is dead. Hours ago, in fact. Assassins. That seems convenient. Uh, that's the thing about assassins. Point them at a Templar conspiracy, and they ask no questions. All right for the king. <coughs> Put it to me, though. Fetch your cotton and get started. Politicians talking and they never shut up. What was that? Yes, I'd better put some coffee you come on. <laughs> You're a smart man. Roy, clean up your mess, it's time. Be right there. Ah! You heard the weasel boys? Did you really throw him out the window? Trash belongs in the gutter. Sloppy. Someone might have seen. Who? My boys are watching the whole place. They'll deal with any good Samaritans. They'd better. The Grand Master won't be happy if the whole plan comes unraveled because of one dead peon. Fury, they will see their false masters for what they are, but do it gradually. Do quickly and we'll draw the wrong sort of attention, yes? But you're asking at least a year, Grand Master, if not two. The great work requires patience, my friend. If Paris must suffer a while longer so the world might be remade, then so be it. Why not just kill him and be done with it? One of my boys, a knife, a dark hallway. Easy peasy. We want a condemned man, Captain, not a martyr. Have patience. 
Respectfully, Grandmaster, patience is well and fine. But the longer we wait, the greater the chance of discovery. Well, the assassins already found Sivir and the Wadetun. Oh, Sivir and the war already served their purpose. Their destruction, while inconvenient, is no obstacle. And the assassins have already proved useful when properly led. What about the Della Sobra? She could be dangerous if she manages to rally the old guard. That situation will be resolved. How so? Mademoiselle de la Serre will soon be on her way to l'Hôtel Voisin, eager to speak with Monsieur Lafreniere. Sadly, Monsieur Lafreniere has nothing left to say. Please. Clever, Grandmaster. But you've had your brush with the assassins as well. Respectfully, you won't always be so lucky. Quite right. I shall leave the execution of my work. I'll see the one trip. Very well. Seems like we have a spy, way. boys. Catch him! Watch the exit. The spy will be making a run for it. Making a run for it. Think you're better than the rest of us, eh? Big man. 